Hello everyone, so in today's video we are going to make like a small review, I hope it will be small actually, a small review for the K and F concept filter. Uh, thanks a lot guys for sending me these filters. I have here a set of filters actually, I have the UV filter, the CBL filter and the ND1000 which means 10 stop ND filter. So I'm going to try in front of you, I'm going to show you photos without the filter and with the filter I will show you if there is any difference for example in the sharpness of the photo, in the color cast, in white balance because this is the most important thing, I th the most important thing I think in, 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 in buying uh, filters the first thing that um, any photographer asks for is the sharpness of the photo and the white balance obviously before using the CBL filter or the ND filter and after using them if there's any change in you know white balance and sharpness so before going and trying them I will you know open the package and I did that obviously <laughs> I did that because I was taking photos but I will open the package uh, again in front of you to show you how it will come how the package come yeah so as you can see the package it came like that it there were actually a foil but I remove it because as I said I did take photos and after that now I'm making the review as I said we have set of filters UV filters CBA filters and it's written right here ND1000 filter so I will open it and we have here this beautiful bag which I like a lot and inside the bag we will find the filter now uh, as you can see we have here the ring this ring is a magneting ring now this is not a filter this magneting ring we will put it easily on your lens and after that this ring will play the function of a magnetic magnetic function to put the CBL filter the ND filter or the UV filter in front of it and the second one we have here the UV filter uh, the UV filter it plays as I think or in my opinion it plays like only a protection for your lens if you have a very expensive lens and you are afraid for example from falling down from breaking the first glass of the lens this UV filter is fantastic for protecting your first glass of the lens we have here the CBL filter this is the CBL filter like that and the last one right here we have the ND filter a 10 stop ND filter now the first thing I I, I I was you know surprised as I opened the package and I saw the filter they are very small this is the first time I tried to use very tiny filters like that as you can see I like this they are really so small and even the first ring that I was talking about the magneting function it's so small you can put it in your lens I said I think I said that as I was taking the photo you can put it in your lens and you can just forget it you don't have to put it and remove it every time you want to put the cap of your lens for example you can put the cap of your lens on the ring when the ring on your lens so as I said you can put it and forget it and you can just so fast so easily put the ring and remove it back with the CBL filter remove it with the ND filter and I really like how fast you can you know change the filter the ND the CBL filter what we are going to do right now we are going to use time traveling and travel back I think something like three days or four days to the day where I was using the filter to take photos so see you there so hello again everyone we are heading to Petersen now this is a city I near the city which I live in uh, there's a very big uh, tower there it's very famous actually uh, it's called Bilgem Bigel, Bigel Turm, Bigel Turm of Bigel Turm, yeah, uh, in German, and Turm is tower. 
legal I, I don't know actually what's mean now I have bad news actually it's raining I hope now, now it's not so heavily I think I, I can put my camera and I can take photos without any problem but if it starts to be so heavy it's a little bit dangerous for my gear so I still need something like 15 minutes to reach that tower and I will try long exposure photos Now here is the tower. Now I'm I'm thinking actually not only to take a photo of the tower, but I also like the chairs here and the, I can put them also in the composition. Uh, it's unfortunately not the best time of the day of taking photos and not the best condition. Because if we were on the sunset there's beautiful lights uh, no i'm not sure if every day but i was here once at sunset and i saw with my family and i saw beautiful lights red blue lights from the tower itself so if i could come here on on sun sunset i think it will be nicer you know to have a long exposure photo with lights on the tower I haven't been here actually for taking photos. This is the first time. If you saw my old video, I was here with uh, my friend Sebastian, but not in this location. We were the, at the same lake. Uh, I, I took a photo of, I think, thousand <laughs> boats together. But here I haven't been here, so I will try to, you know, to try. I will try to try. I don't have specific uh, com composition in my mind, but I think I think it will it will work nicely if I try to put the chair in the foreground and yeah yeah let's try that so this is the first photo I want to try right here I think I'm using the rule of third perfectly <laughs> in this photo uh, I'm putting as you can see I'm putting the term right here unfortunately it's so small because I'm using ultra wide angle now at 10 millimeter and on the opposite direction I have this here and third of the photo for the sky, two thirds for the, you know, the lake and the two chairs. Yeah, I will try it and I will see how it will look like. What I like about this string, the magnetic one, that I'm not, now I'm not using, I'm still not using ND filter or anything. This ring here, which attach the uh, ND filter with the lens, is very small. It's so small, you can put it and you can forget it. So. Now I am putting the first part. Now let's try first photo with the ND filter, and you can just put it like that, and that's it. It can't be faster. It really can't be faster because, as I said, you can put the magneting ring, the first one, and you can forget it. You don't have to put it and remove it every time. You can just put it and don't remove it at all. Every time you want to put my your ND filter and remove it or the CBL filter, all you have to do is like that and you are ready to go. I will show you the both photos in front of you. I really, I, I'm really so honest, I can't find any change in the color. As I said, I'm using exactly the same white balance in both photos and I can't see any, from here from the back screen of my camera, I can't see any change in the color. Also in the sharpness, I am zooming on the sand, right here on the sand and on the chair. And I can't, I can't feel that there's loss in the sharpness, you know. I really am trying to see any difference in the sharpness. This is, this is really so brilliant. I, I like that. As I said, unfortunately, the, the, the sky is so moody, there's no colors at all. That's why I think I have to be a little bit creative with editing the file. I have to bring a little bit of colors, I have to try to play with them. Yeah, unfortunately, it's not, it's not the best time of taking photo, not the best condition. So this is another photo I'm trying to take here, but the problem, there's a lot of water drops from the rain. I tried to clean the filter and take the photo again but the, the rain is a little bit heavy and the drops are very small I can't I can't remove them 
but I think I don't have any problem I will try to take it if I could remove them with Photoshop it's okay if not I don't have any problem because they are you know it's, it's beautiful to have water drops sometimes in the photo that describe that the weather is rainy and but I think they are not so the number of the drops is not so big I, I think I can remove them with Photoshop So welcome back everyone I hope you enjoyed the rainy bad weather which I was in uh, so as I said I will open the photos uh, to see them on my laptop uh, now this is the first time I'm going to see the photos as I said I saw them only in front uh, or not in front in the back screen of my camera and I said my opinion honestly now I will see them for the first time on Lightroom as you know on a big screen just to be sure that my opinion was right I, I really I'm really so honest with you I have to say I'm so impressed I'm so I even here we're zooming in I can't see any difference in sharpness I really can't see any difference in sharpness I really I'm really so impressed I really can't find any change in color cast any change in white balance that's really fantastic that's really fantastic so at the end i will thank the k and f concept again for sending me this filter they are really so brilliant i said my opinion honestly i wanted to give a negative review about anything but i, I really i can't i really can't it's so they are they are really so brilliant this is my opinion and honestly and you will see these filters every time I'm going to use ND filter for example I don't use it a lot only when I'm taking photos on a lake for example or something like that but I use the CBA filter always always I use it and you will see the K and F concept filter always when I want to see when I want to use CBA filter so thanks a lot for watching this video I hope you like the review I hope you you find it helpful uh, again thanks a lot for watching this video please consider subscribing if you are not already and see you hopefully in the next video